welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up. It's absolutely free of charge. No obligation involved. Just helps YouTube recommend my video so I can help grow this channel. So as you guys know from the last video, or I'm not sure where this is going to fit in, but uh, we had a little mishap with the garage. And maybe it was very, very fortunate. There might have been a silver lining in this cloud. Uh, as you might have heard we had a little tropical system crystal ball blow through and uh, right where I had the RV and the GTO which I really love very much let me show you this you are not gonna believe and maybe it's a good thing too um, look at that the RV was sitting here. There's my brush from when I was washing it. So the cab was still about like right here. So this would have hit like the nose piece and the hood. And then the GTO was about right here. So I could have done some serious damage to the GTO. That would have really hurt the uh, RV. So. I mean, granted, I think the garage would have survived it. It would have been fine, but I probably would have had a massive dent or there would have been some damage, and the thing would have been brand new. That really would have been upsetting, so. Wow. I cannot believe that. Got up this morning. I was like, what the hell is that out here? And there it is. So, anyhow, uh, I found a place to do an alignment. Uh, I actually talked to the dealership that I bought it from. And they very nicely explained to me, yeah, it's no problem, it's warranty, but it's covered under Chevy chassis warranty, not something that they cover. So, I don't know why Jayco couldn't just tell me that, say, hey, it is covered under warranty, but you have to find a Chevy dealer. So, the dealer very nicely tried to find a Chevy dealer that, one, even had an alignment rack, because a lot of dealers really don't do that. And then understand that thing's 11,000 pounds, so it's not like you're just pulling it onto your standard car. Uh alignment rack so i found a place that that can handle a vehicle that size and we're gonna go run there this morning in between what's left of these outer bands all right guys starting right let's get inside so as you can see i go down the, the highway here but the steering wheel pretty much turned to the uh left and see in a second i let go of the wheel this is how bad it turns People probably think I'm drunk. <laughs> but yeah, look, I'm gonna get right here on the white line. Right? And then I'm gonna take my hand off. Look, that's what happens when the steering wheel goes to center, it goes to the right. So that is why we need an alignment. Love the old sign, but check it out. There it is, it's kind of cool, like the whole front of the shop. Drops down. So that's how they get something that big in for an alignment because you just drive onto the bars and then they stand underneath it so there's no ramps or stuff. so that's what you needed for a heavy duty vehicle so the alignment's getting done it should be good to go when we get out of here i have faith in this place look they do all kinds of rvs and stuff and then when i get home i got one more thing i want to add i didn't want to do it until after the alignment they took it out for a test drive, it's done. I'm gonna show you like pretty cool looking. Oh, fingers crossed this is done right. not be perfect he's going back on the rack now with the exception of the wind that's beating me up pretty bad there we go look at that straight as can be minor little adjustments like I said look at the wind but look straight all right man good job guys good job man thing drives so much better now so much better he told me it was way out of whack and yeah i believe it i didn't even have to tell him he, he went in there he's like yeah i can see it's gonna pull into the right 
So, all right, there we have it. The lime is done. Yes. Now I get to put on the little thing I have for this. All right, so that was kind of a fail, but not totally. I'm kind of making the decision to pull the plug on this. Um, you know, I'm a car guy. I like shiny stuff. I like wheels. So I bought these uh, chrome covers. They're, they're stainless steel covers to go over the wheels. See, the problem is, if you look, that's not even really four fingers. Maybe about four fingers wide right here. Uh, See, the problem is when you have a dually, you have two valve stems. And neither one faces you. See, one's here, and then the other one is through here. Like I said, that one wasn't even four fingers, or barely. So I have to get my hand. See, my hand just barely fits through this hole to get to my TPMS sensor. And if I put that on there, I'm gonna have a hard time getting to all that. So I guess that just means I'm gonna have to deal with the uh, silver wheels. I mean, they're not bad looking. I just, I really wanted the bling of the chrome, but oh well. But I do wanna show you, uh, sorry, it's still like mega windy here. I want to show you the uh, stabilizing system on here because I mean, man, who doesn't love hydraulic things? Big hydraulic things that just move and crush stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down underneath, and I'll let you watch the jacks like pick this thing up and level it. I don't know, I like it. I think it's cool as heck. These hydraulics. weather trip to Walmart get ready for our very first camping trip we got to stock up on a little bit of food and stuff so we can put in the RB so we can eat and we couldn't have picked a better time to friggin go than in this damn rain chill woman oh. thank you oh yeah this is gonna be an epic fail oh my god I can't believe she's doing this She's buying a bike after her test drive. <laughs> if she decides she didn't knock down any shells, she's gonna go for it. What? Congratulations.
Mama spoils her, teaches her wrong things. She got there herself. So, you excited, honey? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Our first milestone with vehicle two. We crossed our very first state line with this. We are now in Alabama. We are on our way to a uh, nice federal park. So stay tuned and we'll bring you a little bit more. Enjoy the drive up there. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it All right, so we made it. I want to give you a quick tour of uh, just some of the facilities they have here. This is the uh, laundry, but unfortunately it's locked. Uh, we can't get in there. There's a woman's room. Um, accessible. You're in a wheelchair, kind of steep. But here we have a restroom. Let's see what's in here. Sinks. Toilets, and here you go. A couple of showers if you're tent camping or you don't want to use the water in your RV. You have that. Pretty nice. I mean, at least it gets the job done, right? Gets you clean. <laughs> ah, so this is Isaac Creek Campground. This is actually run by the Army Corps of Engineers. There's a dam somewhere. We, we passed on the way in. I'm not sure if we can walk to it or not. Uh, we'll try. If not, we'll drive because it definitely looked pretty. I definitely want to go there and check it out. All right. There it is. And you can see how different the wheels are. That's how, even though you have concrete and you think it's level, obviously it's not because how different the jacks have everything raised. Oh. So we do have water here. There is power. You have 30 and 50 amp hookups. And here's the beauty of this whole site. Uh, right here in the water. Right here in the creek. So we have, you know, decent view. Oh, the site next to us actually has a dock. Okay, I know some sites here do have their own docks. I wasn't sure who, or maybe it's shared access. I'm not quite sure how that works. But yeah, look at that, you got a dock you can go out to. Let's go, let's go out there. This is a little bit steep, and there's been a lot of rain due to crystal ball. I really don't wanna inadvertently go swimming. Oh, this, I hope it's okay. Oh, spider webs. Oh, this isn't bad at all. Yeah, look at this. Wow, and then there's my rig. Look at that. This is nice. Okay, so we have, looks like a charcoal, like a grill right here. Or I'm not sure if it's just a burn pit, but I couldn't picture trying to grill stuff that low to the ground. I think it's just a burn pit because you have a grill right here. You have a pole here to hang a lantern. 
get this whole nicely packed thing and then we have a picnic table so check it out very nice army corps of engineer camping who knew got some kind of weird maybe dock you could walk down to i don't know it's strange look made out of pipe looks really sketchy but there's the dam over there we're gonna make a way there we're gonna check that out for you ah, weird <laughs> there's a shelter you can rent you want to have parties Good morning, everyone. First morning waking up in the brand new RV. Feel pretty good. Slept pretty good. Uh, that sleep number bed that I installed feels pretty good. Just like being at home. Just a little bit different going from a king to a queen. But no big deal. Slept pretty good. Nice and quiet. I hear the frogs were kind of loud last night, but I mean, after I fell asleep, we couldn't hear them. Not a big deal. So, she's still sleeping in a little bit. So, got up, let the dog out. I'm going to enjoy some of this coffee I brewed in the bun. Ah, this is the life, man. You get to go camping and all the luxuries of home. I used to frown upon people with campers and stuff like that. But, hey, man, as you get older, you got to do what you got to do. Plus, I haven't. 
I have plans to do a lot more traveling than what like tent camping would do, but let's take a second. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, till later. Check it out. I just got done flying the drone over the uh, dam and we came back to this guy. Say hi to YouTube. You're famous. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe you snake people know those colors. Of course, she's freaking out. She, she's been worried about snakes ever since we got here. Snakes, snakes, snakes. I got tired of hearing about it. And then we come back and bam, there this thing is. Check them out. Bye, snakey. If you've seen the movie RV, if you haven't, check it out. Robin Williams, fantastic movie. <laughs> Anyhow, there's a scene in that movie where they have to drain the tanks that's right so here i am very first time to be out here uh draining hopefully we don't have the big chocolate fountain let it rip oh yeah that stinks I would like to really thank the camp host here at Isaac Creek Campground for letting us move sites. Let's wait till you see this. We can see the dam from here. We got all this pretty water. It's amazing. There's a cool breeze right here. This is this is the best site. Oh, hell yeah, this is an upgrade. All right, eating some lunch. We're about to grill some brats. Mmm, living it up. camping we have to roll out of here checkouts three in the afternoon so what do you think honey? Yeah. that's it yeah, enjoy the rv life yeah. Yeah. she's only had one cup of coffee yet Even. oh man yeah it's been great man it was nice we got upgraded to this site we did have one slight problem with the person at our last site which we talked to the people up front and they calmed it down but you know we still saw they had these i think probably because of the storm and all the rains coming in people canceled so we were able to like slide over here to the waterfront but i was going to actually videotape it we weren't really planning this the guy that you know like our rv has speakers on the outside they had their local radio station blasting on those speakers and it was like through our site in our vehicle and it was just like that's not what camping's about. Camping's about this. Coming out here, the peace, the quiet, nature. You're in the wilderness, the woods, for nature, because you want quiet. So, yeah, and I was actually gonna play, I was meant to record and be like, don't be this guy with the freaking music going. And then, like, they decided that they needed to talk at each other, like they were like a friggin' half a mile apart, like at the top of their lungs, they needed to announce everything. Because I felt like the whole park needed to hear them, but uh, hopefully that won't be a recurring thing. But <laughs> bless you. 
Yeah, anyhow, man, this site up here in the water has been fantastic. Nice, cool breeze coming off the water. So, yeah, we're going to enjoy a little bit of this. Hopefully you enjoyed our very first camping adventure. There will be many more to come. Hopefully you enjoy the RV. Yes, I still got a fixed Project Z28. We still got the garage coming up. We got a lot of stuff planned. But definitely looking to enjoy a little bit of this retirement life. So if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Leave a thumbs up. Absolutely free of charge. No obligation involved. Just help support and help me grow the channel so we can bring you bigger and better content. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our little camping trip. and. We shall see you on the next one. I said, don't forget me, I got to make it. Did you see? Stop it, it's big. Don't even. Can you, both of you slow down? I'm trying to get ahead of you okay. and you speed up. Yeah, and how do I know that? You see me running.